In the Reiner Report tonight, California now bans state-funded travel to a majority of states because of their anti-LGBTQ laws. Attorney General Rob Bonta announced today he added Missouri, Nebraska, and Wyoming to the list, a total now of 26 states. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner explains why top Democratic lawmakers are working to reverse that ban. Pro Tem Tony Atkins is the first to admit she doesn't like what 26 other states are doing. We're living in extremely polarizing times with the LGBTQ plus community under attack by extremist politicians and commentators. But she said banning travel to those states is not the solution. Under current California law, we can't even go there to help or to support those who may be feeling under attack, nor can we get there to help widen understanding. In addition to reversing the ban, her proposal would create in its place a positive nonpartisan education and marketing campaign aimed at promoting inclusion and acceptance. Atkins is also supporting a constitutional amendment, which voters will now have the chance to weigh in on in November 2024. That would make marriage a fundamental right. I'm glad that most of you probably don't know what it feels like to have your life, your liberty and pursuit of happiness put up for a vote. And I'm glad for that, and I hope that you never will. Right now, California's Constitution has language in it that bans same-sex marriage because of a 2008 voter initiative. While it was overturned by the Supreme Court, California officials want the language taken out. The Senate passed the measure Thursday by a vote of 36 to 0, with some, like Senator Brian Daly, choosing not to support it. I want you to see my heart. This is not a judgment on you or your freedoms. This is a judgment against me and my own faith of what I believe I need to do um, to respect what I, be, I, I believe I will be held accountable for. So I hope you can understand that. To all my very close friends, um, I'm not judging anybody. Because ACA 5 is a constitutional amendment, the governor does not need to sign off on it. It already passed the Assembly and the Senate, so it will officially be on your 2024 ballot.